A portfolio. Do you know the thing you never get around to making? I'll show you how to select the images, how to organize it, and how to use it. Studying and reviewing your own work is essential to improving. If you're just shooting all the time but never actually taking the time to uh, review your own archive, you miss a vital step. And you're also going to find it so much harder to make a portfolio. Well, now we have the time, so let's look at how we do it. How do you select the images that go in your portfolio? Well, the best thing is this is your portfolio. You get to decide. So forget about everything else. Analyze your favorite pictures. Look through your archive, find your favorites, and go purely on feeling. Forget about sharpness, forget about all the tech stuff, forget about the outside world. Just study them and go, what do you feel? Do you feel this image really jumps out and speaks to you? Is this a core image for you? Does it really represent what you're about? As a photographer, does it really tell the story you want to tell? Those are the pictures that you want to select and you get to choose. The important thing is not to have too many though. You don't want 500 similar images. So within this group of favorites, you probably have to narrow it down even more. But that's the great thing about it. You will learn from this editing process. I'm a professional music photographer. So I have a portfolio of my live concert work. And this is how I choose my portfolio images. I look for basically four different things. There has to be energy. Is there energy coming out of the image? Do I feel the energy? It doesn't have to be mad energy. It could be like a sad, quiet energy. It doesn't really matter. It has to be energy. Emotion. Is there emotions coming out of the image? And not only are the people in the picture feeling an emotion. Most importantly, am I feeling something when I look at the picture? Necessity. And by necessity, I mean, does it feel like a necessary image? Is this just a nice image? Or is it one of those, this had to be made? This is the coolest, most amazing thing that's ever happened at any concert ever. I had to document this. And only I could do it this way. That's what I mean by necessity. It's got to feel necessary. And then there's number four. I call that uh, hearing the music. And uh, that's purely based on my gut feeling. I just look at the image and go, am I feeling it? Do I hear music playing? Is it coming? You know, is there music coming out of this silent, still picture? And actually, not every picture that I shoot take all four boxes, but the ones in my portfolio hopefully take most of them. So how do you organize this portfolio? Well, I keep a smart collection in my uh, music photography library, but I mean, you could just have a folder. It doesn't really matter. As long as you just have one place where you keep your portfolio, one place where you add new pictures, where you review your work over time, and you also delete pictures because you want to keep it a small portfolio. You don't want 500, you want more like 50. So you gotta, you gotta tend to this all the time. And that's where you really learn as well by constantly reviewing and refreshing your portfolio. So what can you use it for? A small part of my portfolio goes to my website. That's great for sending a link to potential clients. You can make a stack of prints with your portfolio. You can make a book, you can make a portfolio magazine, but best of all, you will improve as a photographer simply by continuing this process of reviewing your archive, selecting your favorites and editing this portfolio. So I hope you have fun with that and uh, feel free to shoot me any questions that you have through emails or uh, maybe the comments below as well. See you next time.